Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Football Manager 2018. And, <clears throat> well, let's take a look at how things have gone down with the whole job process. Now, as you saw in the last episode, we applied for four positions. Um, and almost immediately, that Icelandic team, the long name one, yeah, they offered an interview. I went through with the interview. Um, <clears throat> I had it all recorded and it, it didn't process properly. So it's fine because if anybody's played FM, you know the job interview process. It's the same every single time. And then it took not even two days for them to offer me the job. I'm going to be on 200 pounds per week. to coach this Icelandic second division team. That's okay, though. <laughs> That's all right. Um, so they've hired me. Uh, for those that don't know, I don't think I revealed this last time, I, my manager's name is Mr. Jammer, so that's that's why that's going to appear there. Um, so it's, it's a huge surprise by many, because I've just come out of nowhere. I'm some 26-year-old nobody. Uh, the unknown American head coach, whose first game in charge will be not two days from my hiring. <coughs> against Fram, or Fram, or however the fudge you would pronounce that. Anyway, uh, their most recent, they, they won in their most recent match, but uh, they're sitting mid-table right now, and that's where we want to be. When I interviewed for the job, they said, hey, we, we want you to achieve a mid-table finish, and keep in mind the Icelandic season runs differently than a lot of the European leagues do. Um, we'll take a look here. We're already... They played 22 games. It's a pretty short season, so we're already just under halfway. Nine games into the season, HK sit 10 points at 7th place. So right now, if the season were to end right now, I'd, I'd be hitting that goal of about mid-table. So we're not in a bad position taking over in the middle of the season. We kind of just got to kind of keep the ship on course keep it moving you know don't don't let things get out of hand you know a change of head coach mid-season can shake things up a little bit I don't want to get too crazy in this being midway through the season I don't want to shake things up too much um, we want to just kind of see this out <clears throat> I am contracted through October of 2018 so I'm good for the end of this season and then as long as I don't get sacked I'll have the entirety of the next season as well so here we see Keflavik leading and Filkir are the two teams that are in promotion positions right now. Grada and Leiknir F. Oh god, okay. Um seven points though for these teams at the bottom, so it's you know, <clears throat> we can't afford to really drop games because if these teams were to pick up some wins they'd they'd bolt ahead of us. So right now not a whole whole lot of room for error and that's one thing about Iceland is it's a shorter season, so you really gotta make the most out of you know, 22 games, it's not a lot. So here's the league rules. Uh, nothing too fancy, although this is my least favorite part right here. Five subs. I'm so used, you know, most leagues are have seven subs that you name, and you can use three. Five? That makes it... Mm, makes it that's, that's hard to deal with. Like, five subs... It sounds ridiculous, but I mean, it, it makes a big difference, you know, in, in the, the kind of depth that you can have and the, the availability of players. You really got to make the most of your who you're picking for your subs. Can't have more than three non EU players, um, no more than four lone players, which is fine. We're all, it's an all Icelandic team right now. We don't even have anybody from even EU countries. The season runs from May 7th to September 16th. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It, because Iceland is Iceland. Their season, they run it through the spring and the summer. And before this, there's a league cup that takes place. It's like a preseason league cup kind of deal. Um, that's not what this is. This is the FA Cup. The Borgunar Bikar. I think I got that right. Um, one of these days, I'm going to learn how to pronounce this. We'll, we'll probably explore that later on. <laughs> Throw that into Google Translate and just have the audio <clears throat> tell me how it's pronounced. But we have taken over HK here in Iceland. 
uh, founded in 1970, professional club. Um, as we kind of already looked at when we were doing a little bit of an overview, um, they, they're fierce rivals with Breedablick, who are in the top tier. They have one legend uh, actually plays for fierce rivals. He's he's 41 now, but apparently he's a club legend. This Gunleafer Gunleafs. <laughs> It's a, great, it's a great name. Great name. Average ticket price is eight pounds. Season tickets fifty pounds, I and mean, that's not terrible. We have almost four hundred season ticket holders. As you can see, uh, we play. We're away to Fram in a couple days. Uh, they're one spot ahead of us in sixth place, so that'll be an interesting match to kind of gauge where we are. And uh, then we have poor. I don't know what what this letter is. It looks like a P with a little thing on it. I don't know what that is. Uh, they're in 8th place. Selfoss is in ninth, So we have a chance in, in these next games to possibly get some points against teams that are below us. It's crucial that we, we get think, get at least a draw out of some of the... Like this home match to poor, we should probably get 3 points. Um, and that's where we're going to take a look now at the team report. As you can see, if you look at the team depth chart, just a quick glance, it shows players that can play these positions. We're quite solid going forward, and the talent that we have in these positions, I feel like we can do some damage scoring some goals. But the biggest concern, and right here the top weakness, 10th in goals conceded. That's last place. Or, wait, is that? No, that's not, that's not last place. That's almost last place, but I don't know why... I, there's 12 teams in the, the division. I'm clicking on stuff now. Yeah, so not, I'm sorry, not last place. I'm, I'm smart. But terrible. 15 goals in nine matches. Does not look good. And as you can see, we are lacking on both fullback positions. And when I looked at the team, I wasn't convinced about our center back situation either. The, the whole back line and the goalkeepers. The whole defense is pretty bad. Um, I feel confident about what we have going forward, but there's some problems here in the back. And as you can see, the uh, the weaknesses addressed in the team report here support my concerns that there's a lot of problem with defensive depth, goalkeeper depth. Um, I'm not transfer budget doesn't bother me. We can pick up guys on free transfers, although our wage budget is a little bit not a lot of room to move in there average wage sits around 150 pounds a week so if we're going to be signing anybody we're probably not going to be signing any high quality players um i mean we can we could go over the wage budget but i'd, I'd rather avoid having to do that all together um it puts you in a bad position uh we're not the strongest team around teamwork is a little concerning aggression away form sucks so there's a lot of room for improvement now. Here's let's look at the strengths. We'll, we'll look at some of the positives of this team, and we have the league's leading scorer right now, and that's Atli Fanar Janssen. I I hope that's right. Six goals in eight appearances and one sub appearance, garnering a rating of 6.98. So just under seven there, but as you can see, solid player going forward. Um, 14 acceleration agility pace so he, he's for this level that's that's pretty darn good um excellent finishing and composure for this level i mean decision making he's he's just what we want as, as a striking option here um so excellent to have that that player in our team um we have a guy who can do a little bit of center mid action but he's mostly a winger um, as you can see he's got the pace that you'd want in a winger crossing a solid um, decisions again another good player so he'll probably you know we'll have him throwing balls into the box as gear martinson is one of the best players if not maybe overall the best player at the club he's he's going to be a guy we look to and he can he can play anywhere up the center so, uh, you know, I mean, if we needed him to play center back, he could. Although I feel like it's probably wasting his abilities, you know, when he can, he's got 12 passing, free kick taking. You know, we don't really want him back there at center back. I mean, he's quick off the mark. He's not, his pace doesn't quite match up with that, but that's all right. Um, we got 
six good options up front. Again, this this recognizes the the strengths that we have that we don't have in the defense. <laughs> Bjarni Gunnarsson. You know, he, he can either play center mid or striker, but it looks like he's probably more suited to a striker position. Definitely a little bit limited. He he's not particularly great at anything. He's fairly quick. What we're gonna do um for the first match, um I wanna just give a brief overview of the team here and see, you know, show you guys kind of where we're at. Um now we're struggling with uh, looks like I think Olafson is actually recovering. Possibly, yeah, he's he's just recovering from an injury. Um, is a very minor injury, so we may have to throw our backup keeper in. Um, but this is going to be our starting eleven tentatively. This isn't, you know, there are some players in here that are very talented that could and maybe should be playing, but I wanted. I want to kind of just throw them out there in this first match and evaluate, you know, what we got. It's one thing to look at ratings, and it's one thing to, you know, look at it on paper. But it's when you throw them into the game, how do they react? And when you put them in these roles, I'm a little bit concerned. I'm just going to run a basic 4 for 2 but I'm a little bit concerned that it may be a little bit tough to link the midfield to the strikers. But we've got this name I'm just going to call him Ingemar because I don't know how to say that last name. Um, we've got him going a bit more up the right wing. I'm a little bit concerned that it might leave a little bit behind, but I've, put, I've got Sveinsen on this. I'm going to put him in a cover role so he'll kind of, in case uh, Janssen here gets caught out a little bit, hopefully he'll be able to kind of sweep up behind. Um, he's got good acceleration for a center back, so I think we'll be okay in that regard. And we'll see how this goes. But here's our starting 11. I've got an advance forward, um, Janssen, because he has, you know, 13 dribbling and, and is good finishing all that. Advance forward is probably his best role. Gunnarsson, I, I threw him in as poacher because I didn't really know as far as putting him in as a striker. I didn't have much else that I really felt he was good at. And he can't really play attacking midfield and bush forward. So I'm over here. We have Ingemar who is going to be a winger on attack. Again, this is a very base tactic, and it's not fleshed out, really. I just wanted to kind of put them into a system that's very basic and kind of see how they react, and, and we'll, we'll kind of develop a more intricate tactic later on. But we'll utilize his pace, his crossing ability, take the best things that he can do and enhance them. On the left wing, we have Olafur Hraffen Kjartensen. Kjartensen. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna die pronouncing these names. This this is Iceland, guys. This is the adventure. It's it's not gonna be what happens on the pitch. It's gonna be me sitting here trying to pronounce all these names. Victor Hi Hel Helgi Benedictsson. <laughs> Goodness gracious. He's going to be kind of our, uh, maybe a bit more holding midfielder here. Keep things chill. Don't let the other team get through too much. He's got 14 tackling. Good passing, so he can he can win the ball and then get the ball going forward. Good first touch. Work rate. Love it. He's a very good player um, to have in the center. Solid. And then we have one of the best players in the club, Asgir Martinson. Um, quick. You know, good free kick taker, decisions, excellent. As we saw in the team report, good decision makers on this team. You gotta love it. Over here, we probably have our weakest spot on the field. It's right back. I'm really a bit concerned. Uh, positioning is okay. Anticipation could probably be better. Concentration definitely a little bit concerning. So uh, we're, we're going to be looking to see if we can snap up a right back somewhere. Probably a more suited left back as well, but right back is a big concern. Uh, then we have Rainier, Mars, Feinson. Solid center back, could probably be a bit better in his marking, but he's one of the stronger players on the side, so we'll be okay, I think. And then we have 
one of our best jumpers on the team. That is Goodwinder, poor Julius. <laughs> I gotta get some nicknames for these players. I'm not gonna be pronouncing these guys. Uh, he's wanted by somebody, but good passing for for a center back. That's for sure. Um, I think he can also yeah, he can play a bit further forward too, but. 15 tackling, his leadership is excellent. We'll need him in that back line. And then Leifer Andre Leifson is this. He's got some good physicals, so that's very helpful. Excellent concentration. I'm a little bit less concerned about him than I am on the right back. And then we have Arner Freyer Olofsson, the man, the myth, the goalkeeper. Not particular. He's probably one of the weaker players in the side, but he's going to be our goalkeeper for now. We'll we'll look to him to make some stops. So, as I said, it's going to be a very basic for this first game. Very basic tactic. Uh, we're just going to kind of sit standard, flexible. I'm going to tell them to be more direct in their passing, but other than that, I'm not going to ask uh, a whole lot else. We'll we'll make adjustments in the match if if we see something happening that's super obvious. For now, we'll we'll keep it pretty basic. Four four two. Nothing special. Uh, and then this this guy, Dean Ank, go wrong. Now, uh, we got to look at him because he's got some solid mentals. But he's our kind of defensive substitute because he is also Nepali. That's definitely not an Icelandic name. <laughs> Dean Ank, go wrong. Probably my favorite name on the team, actually. And here we can see the team hierarchy. Uh, Leifson is the oldest player at the club. And we'll take a look at that. I, I wanted to show you that. This is a very young team. Um, look at the number of teenagers that are in the first team here. And just, you know, 21 and under, it's half the team right there. Oldest player is Leafson at 27. Then you have Arneson at 25. And everybody else is 24 and under. It's, it's a very young team. So that's something to kind of keep an eye out for. Uh, but there's that. You can see that there are currently four players who oppose me for some reason. I think it's just because they're not they're just not sure about me yet. So we'll hope to uh, turn their turn their opinion around with some good management. So this might not be 100% the best 11 that we have, but I think as far as what we're kind of looking to do in, in getting something out of this this formation and this tactic, we'll we'll use it. We'll probably end up since our our defense is pretty weak. Um, I'm thinking we'll maybe do either one or two defensive midfielders and uh, you know maybe kind of more or less go for a tactic that's going to have us bombing the ball down the field more or less but we'll take a look at that later on when we can actually have some match analysis so that is that I think I hit on everything I needed to uh, touch here next time we will play our first two matches we'll evaluate how things are going from there and hey we'll get going we'll actually get some interesting things to happen to this game really opens up when you start actually getting into matches and being able to evaluate your squad and in doing things like that it's kind of weird when you have to just kind of sit back and look at everything but fortunately no injuries fortunately nothing like that so this is hk next time yeah like i said we'll get those matches going and i'll see you all next time